Hi folks, so if you have been using SideQuest, you probably know that when you go to SideQuest settings and then scroll down a bit, you will find the option to configure custom CPU and GPU levels. And if you Google about the topic, you will find loads of articles and YouTube videos claiming that when you raise the default GPU and CPU level, you will get more performance out of your Quest or Quest 2 headset. But is this actually true? And the short answer is that it's not worth manually setting the CPU and GPU levels because Oculus already does this dynamically based on the headset load, battery temperature and possibly other factors. In order to prove my point, I'm going to be using an application called Oculus Developer Hub. And although this application is mainly aimed at developers, there are some useful functionalities that us regular folks can use as well. And one of them is the metrics heart or heads up display. And what this basically does is when I enable the functionality, it will be showing me real time data and metrics about the headset in VR. And when I open the settings, you can actually configure what metrics you want to be showed. So I currently have the basic preset set and the metrics that we are most interested and want to monitor are the CPU level and GPU level. And there are some other metrics, for example, CPU utilization and GPU utilization that will help us determine the actual performance of the headset. So I'm going to additionally enable display refresh rate because I'm going to be changing in changing it while I'm in VR and think others should be good. Okay, so now it's time to jump into VR and see what's actually happening. So I have now put on my headset and I have done no other changes besides uh, enabling the heads up display. And from the heads up display, you can see the first two metrics are the CPU load and GPU load. And these are the settings you can change from the side quest. So then there's frames per second, uh, display refresh rate and CPU and GPU utilization in the 100% scale. And what I want you to see is that uh, the CPU load and GPU load are not static values. So you can see that uh, the headset is automatically uh, scaling the performance and putting more stress on the CPU or GPU based on the actual uh, resources it currently needs. So when I open a browser, for example, let's see, new tab. So you can see it raised the CPU load to four and GPU load currently three. Now that it loads, it, it reduces the load automatically again. So um, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to really try to stress the uh, headset and I'm going to adjust the refresh rate to 120 and also set the texture size to 248 and let's see how the headset handles uh, these settings. So I'm going to do it now. So this is a uh, texture size. So it's loading. Okay, so even after the changing the texture size, you can see that for a second, both the CPU and GPU load were uh, set to set to four. And it seems to be struggling much more already. So yeah, you can see it drops in the frames and I'm going to stress it even more by, by changing the refresh rate. So now the refresh rate is also 120, as you can see. So clearly it's, uh, it's ailing the performance already. GPU is not at uh, four, but but it also currently isn't uh, doing active game rendering, so it needs uh, CPU resources. But 
the point again here is that it changes them automatically and I'm also gonna demonstrate it uh, let's do it in a game so, for example Beat Saber so although Beat Saber is optimized for 120 refresh rate it definitely isn't able I think it isn't able to handle uh, the 2048 uh, texture size and you can see already that uh, the CPU and GPU load are automatically set to 4 by the Oculus algorithm and it seems that it it is keeping them there constantly so let's try to launch the game okay so i thought i'd i try to uh, manually raise the cpu and gpu load uh, level to four in side quest but uh, there's currently no reason for the, this because oculus is already doing this uh, automatically and just to prove my point i'm gonna gonna reduce the refresh rate again and show you that it ought to, it will automatically reduce the load settings on the CPU and GPU. So one second. So let's do it to 72 hertz. And again you can see that the CPU load was uh, dropped to three already. And if it was the normal scenario with the default uh, texture size, it would uh, lower them even less. But anyway, uh, I tested this also with uh, Space Pirate Trainer and uh, uh, Superhot. And even when I manually set the levels to 4, I didn't see any gains in the frames per second or any difference in the CPU or GPU load adjustment. So. In conclusion, there's no need for you to change the CPU and GPU levels. Oculus does that automatically and realistically you are not up for any gains if you do that. So I hope this was helpful and thank you for watching. Goodbye.